We are more than just a church. We are a family. A family who cares about one another and a strong team who helps other people together. We help people find their way back to God. Then we help them start up their new life with Jesus. We connect people to life groups and help them put their lives back into order. We help them become equipped and accomplish God's vision for their lives. We believe that through it all, the rescue mission has just begun. We will continue to transform this nation. We will serve as God's instrument in this generation. And we will be God's representative wherever we go. Raining Light has different ministries, with a warm and welcoming environment where people from different walks of life gather to share stories. We have a ministry for kids on a mission to develop a godly generation by teaching our kids that they must be about the Father's business. We also have a wild side empowering young people. Crossroads for young professionals and marketplace people. Couples Ministry aims to strengthen couples' relationships to build a family that puts Jesus at the center. And reigning seniors for all the young at hearts. So there's always something available no matter what stage of life you're in. As a family, we also believe that life is better when shared. That is why we have a lot of groups full of life where we strengthen each other in order to fulfill God's calling for our lives. With the guidance of our strong and visionary leaders, Pastor Lito Peren and Pastora Tess Peren, along with the whole spiritual family, nothing could ever stop us. Nothing can hinder us from making a great difference in people's lives, in our nation, and even around the world. Our calling has even become louder. The vision has become clearer, and the mission has become bigger. We will continue to love God by serving His people through our lives. We are the Reigning Light. of the people here are young people. So I would expect more energy as we worship God. Tama ba? And remember, worship is not just about the song. It's about the attitude of the heart. Tama ba? If you have something na parang nag-withhold sa'yo para mag-worship to God, the thinking is ganito. Lagay natin sa ilalim ng paa. Okay po yun? And then tapak-tapakan natin. That's the victory that we can have. Actually, that's the victory that we have because of what Christ did sa buhay natin. Tama ba? So, come on. Sing. Praise. Praise is 
glory, honor and strength unto our God, unto our God, you matchless, endless, love and mystery. This is our God, ever rejoicing, glory, honor and strength unto our God, unto our God, you matchless, endless, love and mystery. This is our God. Ever each other sing. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, you are. Ha! Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, you are. 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 There is no one like a God. 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 Wala kang katulad o Diyos. 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 Wala kang katulad o Diyos 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 Praise and glory, honor and strength Unto our God, unto our God You matchless, endless, love and mystery This is our God Ever in charge, glory, honor, and strength unto our God, unto our God, you matchless, endless, love and strength. This is our God. Ever in charge, glory, honor, and strength unto our God, unto our God, you matchless, endless, love and strength. This is a God, ever in charge, say, one like a God, there is no one like a God, there is no one like a God, there is no one like a God, wala kang katulad o Diyos, wala kang katulad o Diyos, wala kang katulad o Diyos. Wala kang katulad o Diyos Wala kang katulad o Diyos Come on, mas malakas pa Wala kang katulad o Diyos 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 Come on, everyone, sing praise. That is our God. He is matchless. And His love is endless. Come on, you can do better than that. And this afternoon, before we worship, I remember last week, 
nung may sineshare si Dayan. Nung time na ang Panginoon ay naghanap sa mga disciple, remember nung pinakain yung liman libo? Naghanap ang Panginoon sa mga disciple. So what do you have? Pero nung time na narinig na ko nun, may remind sa akin ng Lord eh. Kasi, totoo minsan, tayo bilang mga tao, we tend to look for the things na wala naman sa atin. Tama ba? Minsan pa, yun yung mas matimbang eh. Pero when Jesus asked the disciples, ang remind sa akin ng Lord, hindi naman ano eh, sino. We might not have everything Actually, ang dami nating kulang. Pero hindi naman sa kung ano yung wala tayo eh. Pero yung kung sino ang meron tayo. Tama ba? Now, it's... Let's not... Huwag natin hayaan na yung wala tayo ay maging mas matimbang sa kung ano yung meron tayo. Meron tayong Panginoon. Merong kulang sa atin, merong mali sa atin, pero meron tayong Panginoon. Tama ba? So, let's have that attitude. Panginoon, yung meron ako ngayon, eto lang, konti lang. But I put it on your hands. With trust. Yung meron kang pagtitiwala. Yung meron kang, alam mo na, when I give this to my God, He is able to multiply it. Now you have, meron tayong ngayon oras. Meron tayong ngayon, iisang buhay. Sino dito yung ibibigay mo yun sa Panginoon? hindi ako convinced eh. Sino dito yung ibibigay mo yun sa Panginoon? Pero I want you to convince not just me, but convince God as you worship Him. Remember, as we worship God, it's not about just the song. Hindi naman dito pinag-uusapan kung magaling tayong kumanta eh. It's about the heart. Kasi maaaring nandito ka, pero you fail to get in touch with God just because naging observant ka. Just because may in-entertain kang ibang bagay. Just because you have something in your heart na hindi mo napagtagumpayan. But this afternoon, let's have that opportunity. Let's grab that opportunity to worship Him. So it's just gonna be between you and God as we worship Him. So can we just raise up our hands? Father, all we have is the opportunity to worship You. So we're going to give our hearts to you. Let's sing. Kung mayroon lamang akong sanlibong buhay Hindi pagkakait lahat sa'yo ay ibibigay Gayon pa man sa akin, nag-iisang taglay Ilalaan bawat saglit, upang itibigin ka Nang walang humpay Muli pa Kung mayroon lamang akong sanglibong buhay hindi pagkagay lahat sa iyo'y bibigay Gayon pa man sa aking nag-iisang taglay Ilalaan bawat sanling upang ibigin ka ng walang upa Kakaila hats 
sa'yo'y ibibigay Gayon pa man sa'king nag-iisang taglay Ilalaan bawat saglit upang ibigin ka Nang walang umpay Gaya ng dagat na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alun, puso ko ay sa'yo nagmamahal Sa hamang panahon Gaya ng dagat na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alun, puso ko ay sa'yo nagmamahal Sa hamang panahon Natatangi kaya man ito Wagas na pagsuntay yung tinggi Kalakit na nga witi Purihin ka o Gaya ng dagat na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alun, puso ko ay sa'yo nagmamahal Sa haba panahon, gaya ng dagat na hindi napapagal Sa pag-alun, puso ko ay sa'yo magmamahal Sa haba panahon, gaya ng dagat na hindi napapagal Walang hanggang kita pupulihin Walang hanggang sasambahin Huwag naman ang puso ko ito Ay mangitay sa'yo Walang hanggang kita pupulihin Walang hanggang sasambahin Huwag naman ang puso ko ito Ay mangitay sa'yo Walang hanggang Walang hanggang sasambahin Huwag naman ang puso ko 
sa awit, pupurihin ka sa awit, itataas sa ngakikiti, itatanghal sa buhay ko. Kailangan mo hindi mapapantayan Pupurihin ka sa awit Itataas ng aking tinig Itatanghal sa buhay ko Tangin ikaw, O Diyos Higit pa sa kalangitan Ang iyong Kadakilaan mo'y di mapapantayan Tuburin ka, O Diyos Tuburin ka sa awit Itataas ang aking tinig Itatanghal sa buhay ko'y Tangin ikaw, O Diyos Higit pa sa kalangitan Ang iyong kalwal hatian Kadakilaan mo'y Papantayan Pupurihin ka Pupurihin ka Sa awit Itataas sa aking Tinig Itatanghal sa buhay Ko'y tangin Ikaw o Diyos Higit pa Sa kalangitan Ang iyong Kalwal hatian Katakilaan mo'y Di mapapantayan Father, we welcome you in this place, God. We honor you sa lahat ng mga bagay na ginagawa namin, Panginoon. And thank you for the opportunity that we can worship you, that we can go, that we can experience your presence, Panginoon. So God, we are expectant that you're gonna do amazing things sa buhay namin. We can experience miracles, breakthroughs upon breakthroughs, Panginoon, because we know that whatever we put in your hands, you are able to multiply it, Panginoon. 
And God, we just ask that more than the material things, we ask, Lord, that you multiply the satisfaction, the joy that we have, yung mga bagay na hindi kayang nakawin ng kaaway, Panginoon. Those untouchable things na tanging sa'yo lamang namin matatagpuan, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, for that opportunity and for the privilege to be able to worship your name, Panginoon. Salamat, Ama. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, family. Let's give God the highest praise. <laughs> the atmosphere of worship, you know, we're singing earlier that, Lord, if I would have a thousand lives, paulit-ulit ibibigay ko sa'yo. You know, sometimes, ang thinking natin, ang sarap ang mahal kapag ka may reserva, may mga times na pwede tayong bumawi, may mga times na kapag nagkamali tayo, we can rise up again. But you know, sino dito yung nakakaalam ng, ano, ng katagang YOLO? <laughs> Come on. Let me hear you. Yung mga nakakaalam na katagang YOLO, pwede bang marinig kong sumigaw ngayong hapon na to? <laughs> right? I'm not alone in this room. And you know, lagi natin sinasabi, you only live once. You try this. You do this. Minsan ka lang mabubuhay. <laughs> And you know, habang sumusunod tayo sa Lord, once is enough if we had done the right thing. And thinking natin, gusto ko madami, kailangan para makapag-serve ako ng todo. But when we do it right, once is enough. Yeah. Once is enough. And this afternoon, as we come into the presence of God and His, as we read His Word, we pray that every heart in this room, the Lord will encounter. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang dala before we go to this place. And I pray that the Lord will strike up His Word in our hearts so that we could change. We could be forever changed so that we could have a new hope in the presence of God. So may we bless the reading the Word of the Lord in Matthew chapter 26. Can you read it with me as, as those verses flashes in the screen? Sabi ng Word ng Lord in verse 69, No, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard and the servant girl came up to him and said, You too were with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied. Tell it with me, denied. denied. Come on, denied. denied. But he denied it before them all saying, I do not know what you are talking about. And when he gone out in the gateway, another servant girl saw him. And he said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus, the Nazarene. And again. <laughs> Tell it with me. And again. <laughs> As we read, and again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. Verse 73, after a little while, by the standards came up and said to Peter, Surely you are one of them too. For even your Galilean accent gives you away. Then he began to curse. That is to, uh, to invoke God's judgment on himself and swear an oath. I do not know the man. And at that moment, a rooster crowed. In verse 75, this is my favorite part, part of the chapter. And Peter remembered. Say it with me, remembered. remembered. And Peter remembered the prophetic word of Jesus when he had said, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly in repentance. What I'll be sharing to you this afternoon, just two things. And maybe sometimes we overuse to hear those words. Pero hindi natin nagagawa. We don't put it into action. We don't apply it. But I want us to be reminded all, even me. I want, I want everyone in this room to be reminded that we need to let go and let God. Tell the person next to you, let go and let God. Let go. <laughs> so, yung sa kabila, let go and let God. And this afternoon, 
this afternoon I am so ready and I'm so much excited that Lord I want to let go of the things that weighing me down I want to let go of the things of the situations of the person of those issues I want to let go of everything so that you could move in my life and everybody let's pray Lord, we love you. We welcome you in this place, Lord. You know every situation of our hearts. Alam mo po, Lord, ano ang kalalagayan namin before we came into this place. God, we pray that you intervene in this room so that you could move in the midst of us. You said in your word, Lord, two or three and gathered in your name, you are in the midst of us. So that right now, anything that contaminating our hearts right now, alisin mo po. We want to receive the joy. We want to receive the freedom. We want to receive the breakthrough, the miracle that comes from you. So that our lives, Lord, will be forever changed as we depart in this place. As we bless your name, as we honor you, as we welcome you, Lord. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, give God the highest praise. Yeah! Come on, welcome home! <laughs> uh, before you be seated, please tell the five person beside you, welcome home! <laughs> Come on, the five person, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home! So, let's be seated in the presence of God. Let's settle down. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Come on. Let's settle down in the presence of the Lord. I know every one of us is excited for the Lord to move in the midst of us. So good afternoon once again. <laughs> So, pwede bang kumaway-kaway tayo sa mga camera dyan? Sabihin natin, welcome home! Because at, at, at this moment, we're, we're on a live streaming. So, uh, it's a great privilege to be with you, family. Uh, bear with us. Medyo talagang hindi na kinakaya ng apoy, ng init, ng bawat isa sa atin ng lugar. And we believe talagang habang ine-extend ng Lord ang capacity and ministry natin, ipropromote din ng Lord ang church building na meron tayo. <laughs> We're looking forward that we, we would have a home that we call our own. <laughs> Amo, nang sarap. Kapag ka experience natin yon kasama mo pa rin yung katabi mo. <laughs> so we welcome all the VIPs in the room. Woo! Can you wave your hands? If you're a VIP, meron kang VIP sticker, pwede po bang kaway-kaway kayo? Because this church is existing because of you. Welcome. Welcome po. Welcome, Mom Chris. Welcome, everyone. And naniniwala po ako na Yung taong nag-invite sa'yo this afternoon, may matindi siyang compassion at may nakita rin siyang, may matindi siyang concern sa'yo. Kaya uh, please, uh, feel at home kahit medyo mainit. Naniniwala ko yung katabi mo, nag-invite sa'yo, siya ang bahala sa'yo. <laughs> so, uh, eh, welcome po lahat ng bawat isa sa atin. And I'm so much excited sa next Sunday kasi next Sunday nandito na ang ating mga leaders. <laughs> Woo! And some of our co-leaders na nanggaling from Butuan, nandito na sila. And alam ko may mga matinding kwento, may mga matinding um, isha-share sila sa atin. So I'm looking forward for the rest of the week na makakwentuhan sila. And last night, last night, our pastors po kasi kapag uh, after nung training sa Butuan, dumaretso sila ng Surigao. And last night, nagkaroon ng couples night doon. And nung last week, ang sabi ko nga po sa ating lahat, meron 30 couples na um, engaging to our couples night sa lugar na yun. And Kagabi, nag-chat-chat sa amin si Tita Ning sa GC namin. And he's saying na meron 49 couples na engaging last night. So sabi ko, Lord, grabe, matindi yung ginagawa mo sa lugar na yun. At naniniwala kami habang the Lord is expanding His ministry there, may gagawin si Lord dito sa atin. 
and matindi ang participation and contribution mo kung bakit ang ating mga pastors, ang ating mga leaders could go into places because you are here. Dahil hindi kumpleto ang church without you. Come on! <laughs> Parang hindi ka masaya. Uulitin ko lang, hindi kumpleto ang church without you. <laughs> Kasi kapag in-spell out natin ang church, hindi kompleto ang church without you. <laughs> Kaya this is the main reason where we're gathering in this space. Hindi dahil uh, may mga situation tayo, may mga pinagdadaanan tayo. We believe the Lord has a calling in our lives. I'm so much excited kasi si Lord hindi pa siya tapos. So uh, as we let go of everything and we let God to intervene in our lives, may gagawin pa siyang hindi natin inaasahan. Meron pa siyang miracle na ipaparanas na hindi natin ine-expect at the least moment of our lives. So um, I'm ex excited and sa Tuesday po uwi ni, ni Pastor and after that si Pastor lilipat lang ng plane, diretso naman po ng Cebu. <laughs> Sabi ko mukhang next, next month na kami magkikita ng nanay ko. <laughs> Pero uh, naniniwala ako, th those moments, those um, times na were apart, nag-grow ako as a person, nag-grow din siya as my leader. as my mother, as my parents, kaya, uh, 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 my, as my parent. Kaya pagpunta niya po doon, I believe hindi lang siya magte-train doon, but the, ex, uh, the kingdom of the Lord will be expanded kasi nandun ng anak niya. Kaya excited ako kung saan man yung mga probinsya natin, kung saan man yung mga pinagmulan natin, marireach out ng salvation ng Lord dahil you have the vision. You have the word of the Lord. Can I say an amen to that? <laughs> so, kanina po yung binasa nating passage, that, 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 that passage tells about the denial of um, Peter. So, nung itong, itong kwento na to, alam lang po ba natin to? Do we remember this? Napanood ba natin? Nabasa natin? This was the time that he denied Jesus three times. Ito yung time na pwedeng napanood natin kasi ito yung the last supper, ito yung kaduktong na after nila magsalo-salo, Jesus was arrested. And this was the time na oh, this was the time na si Baby B sumasagot sa akin, nag amen let's go, Ninang! <laughs> yeah, talaga nakaka-excite kapag ka the Lord wants us to receive a word, hindi niya hahayaan na hindi natin makuha. Kaya sa katulad ng challenge kanina ni Kuya Aldin, wag lang sana tayong makarating dito, wag lang sana tayong nagtais ng init, wag lang sana tayong nagaksaya ng pamasahe, tas wala kang makukuha. Ang importante sa mga oras ito, pag hiwa-hiwalay natin, meron kang bit-bit-bit-bit. That one thing that never be separated on us. Kaya itong, itong uh, kwento na to uh, kwento ni Peter. So, itong denial, itong buong journey na to, naniniwala ako, si, uh, si Peter is under process. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, process. Itong <laughs> moment na to, kasi si, si Peter, may, may pinagdadaanan siya. This time, si Jesus was separated than him because Jesus was arrested. So nitong time na to at this moment siguro no sa mga panahon ngayon kahit sino naman na separate sa atin kahit sinong ihiwalay sa atin ng biglaan ng parang teka lang hindi to planado parang anong nangyari nung time na to siguro si Peter gulong-gulo siya or, or even dumating sa point na ano nang mangyayari sa amin ano nang iyari sa mga disciples ano nang gagawin namin sa ministry he was so lost he was confused And during this time, itong passage siya, so sabi ko, Lord, thank you sa buhay ni Peter kasi he is not only the Peter who walks on water, pinag-usapan natin last Sunday, but also this was the Peter na naka nakaranas ng confusion, nakaranas ng undecided, susunod ba ako, hindi, nakaranas ng, teka, ano nang gagawin ko? Do you ever ask yourself, minsan pag mo na umaga, what's next? 
ano nang sunod na gagawin ko? Ano nang mangyayari sa buhay ko? Minsan ba natanong yun na yun? Kapara bang, ano nang mangyayari? After nito, kakain, papasok, uuwi, tutulog, wala na, wala nang something new. Pero this time, si Peter dumadaan ng journey. Dumadaan ng process. And every one of us, dumadaan tayo sa process. Hindi lahat tayo overnight e pinanganak na nagtatrabaho na sa prestige company. Hindi tayo lahat pinanganak pagkatapos, oh, may asawa ka na, may pamilya ka na, may anak ka na. Everything was a process. So during that time, si Ate Diane, lumaki po ako sa church. So I'm a pastor's kid and I'm used to be in the church. Come on. <laughs> so sanay na sanay ako para kung sila mo baby be <laughs> na kahit uh, kung anong gawin sa church, matulog, maglaro, I was there. So sanay ako na uh, nagsa Sunday school, kinakabisado ang books of the Bible, nagkakabisado ng verse, pero hindi ako sanay sa process of getting to know Him deeper. Hindi ako sanay sa process na ang alam ko lang magkakabisado ko ng books of the Bible, ang alam ko lang kilala ko si Jesus sa mga stories sa mga Bible, pero wala akong personal relationship with Him. But I need to go through the process para lumalim yung relationship ko sa kanya. Tama po ba? Nung time na napangasawa mo yung asawa mo, hindi mo naman sinabing first time yung nagmit ay asawa na kita bukas ha. <laughs> It's a process. Nung nakita mo yan, nung naispatan mo yan sa dulo, Brad, akin yun ha. Bakit? You have an intention na kilalanin yun kasi gusto mo. Tama. Pag kami kikilalaning babae, parang laging excited tayo, no? <laughs> But you know, Ganun din in our relationship with the Lord. Na intentionally, it's a process, gugustuin din natin. So during that time, hindi ako sanay, bakit kailangan mag-devotion? Bakit kailangan magbasa ng Bible? Kilala ko naman na siya. I'm hearing stories upon stories who Jesus is, pero I don't have personal relationship with Him. Kaya mukhang may relasyon, pero wala. <laughs> Alam mo yun, huwag mo sasabihin sa kanya pagka nalaman niya, break na kami. <laughs> Hashtag, ako lang nakakaalam. <laughs> Tama, may mga times na ganun yung relationship natin sa Lord. And I'm telling you this afternoon, hindi pwedeng ganun yung relationship natin because everything is a process. So during those times, nahihirapan ako, bakit kailangan mag-devotion, bakit kailangan mag-mentoring, bakit ganito. Pero when you embrace it and when you get intentional, you become creative. Tama, nung gusto mo nga, nung, nung gusto mo na nga kilalanin yung asawa mo ngayon, kahit wala kang pamasahe, Brad, lalakarin mo eh. Yung bang wala ka ng pambigay, wala ka ng pambaon, hindi, re-regaluhan ko siya nito kasi mahal ko siya eh. Yes, talaga naman. Pero yung nanay, hindi naabutan ng regalo. <laughs> Tama, we get intentional kasi we want to know that person deeper. As we go into this room right now, hindi naman lahat ng kasama natin, hindi natin kilala. Pero kung gusto natin kilalanin, we make time, we make effort. We stretch out, we extend kung ano lang yung alam natin more than just a name. Kilala ko lang si April. Kilala ko lang si Melay. Kilala ko lang si Kim. Hindi eh. Pero the Lord wants to have a relationship with us. So during that time, ah, nung bata pa po kasi ako, mahilig pa ako sa mga stationary. Bukod pa po umuso lahat ng ka-esthetikan <laughs> sa pag-aaras. Sino ito yung mga estudyante? Ay, parang konti lang. Sino po yung estudyante? Nag-aaral mabuti! <laughs> parang lalong humina. Ano? <laughs> so during that time, mahilig po ako sa mga marker, mahilig ako sa mga color pens, mahilig ako sa mga stickers. Basta mahilig ako sa stationery. At naalala ko nung bata pa ako, mahilig talaga ako dun sa mga papel na as in stationery. Sino po yung nakakalam na stationery? Ako na lang ba? <laughs> Parang ano yan, no? it's very, the design is very tita. <laughs> so yung stationary po, uy, inabutan niyo po yun. <laughs> Bago pa magka-slam book. Yung ano, ipapar- I recall ko po sa inyo. No? 
Yung mga may mga winid na po sa gilid-gilid, yung may mga butterfly, may mga, mga flower, din yung inabutan. Grabe, mga very... <laughs> Mga very mila. O, tanong nyo sa mga nanay nyo. <laughs> so, yun. Mahilig talaga ako sa mga stationary and ganyan. And kung kanin-kanino ko lang binibigay sa friend ko, sa 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 crush ko. Alam nyo ba one time? <laughs> Buti na lang live tayo, no? <laughs> one time, bata pa lang ako. Kasi I, I don't have that process na dapat nang kinikilala ko sa buhay ko na ang mas ini-enhance ko na relationship is my relationship with Jesus. I get connected with the wrong persons. So at the early age, talaga nagsusulat pa ako, Dear crush, no? may pa-picture-picture ka pa, di ba? Pero kapag ka, bata pa ako noon, kayo naman. <laughs> Buti na lang, pwedeng magbago, no? <laughs> Kaya, crush reveal. <laughs> Pero ayan, ang galing na ano, ng technical natin. No? Yan yung tinatawag na stationary noon, na kung, <laughs> Parang kunwari talagang di alam, ha? Yung design ng pinakapapel, yun din yung design ng envelope. So, yun yung inaabot mo sa mga love ones mo. So, love ones natin. So, during that time, ayun, ayun yung mga uso. I have that. Meron ako mga stickers. Naalala ko nung grade 1 pa ako. Hirabi, that was long, long time ago, no? <laughs> nung grade 1 ako, may bumibili akong sticker. Tapos yung uso, yung nililipat sa may sticker book. Sabi ko, napaka-redundant, no? Tinanggal mo dun sa may sticker, tas dinikit mo din dun, tas tatanggalin mo ulit. Pero I, I'm fan of buying those things. And one thing na nakakapag-cure ng, ng sometimes emotions ko kapag hindi ako stable, yan yung ginagawa ko. Kapag kami sa may mga mentoring, ang pinaka-love na love ko pumupunta sa National Bookstore. Sino mahi, sinong katropa ko dyan? Yung kahit wala kang bibilin, window shopping. Shopping window. <laughs> Kaya kaka-window shopping mo, kahit hindi ka intentional yung bibili, napapabili. Bakit? Sale. <laughs> Tama. Yung grabe, grabe. Dating 150, ngayon 50 na lang. Dating 500, ngayon 300 na lang. And there would be times ate Diane would buy. Kahit hindi niya kailangan. Bakit? Ang cute kasi. <laughs> Can you relate? <laughs> Kung hindi mas stationary, sometimes sa pupunta tayo sa store na talagang favorite nating tinatambayan, inaabangan mo talaga kailan to magse-sale para lang makuha ko to. Itong favorite brand ko na to, di ba? Pagbili mo, excited ka pa. Ang mahal ng bili ko dito. Pagdating mo sa church, pagtingin mo sa likod, parang parehas kami ng damit. <laughs> Tapos pagtingin mo, pirabi, simula ulo hanggang pa, parehas kami ah. <laughs> The design is very dense, Tim. <laughs> Kung nasan tayo sasayaw? <laughs> they were, and sometimes, ganun yung mga situations natin that we buy things, we hoard things na hindi naman natin kailangan. Ang ending nakatambak sa bahay. Ang thinking natin, I bought it on sale. Pero alam niyo po ba one thing, bakit nagsisale ang isang business or ang isang store? Kasi they need to pull those that they need to pull out those items kasi may bagong design na parating. Come on. Kasi may bagong ilalagay, may bagong design, mayroong bagong, uh, uh, may bagong ilalagay dun sa store kasi kailangan i-clear lahat so that there may have room for the new items. And you know, sometimes in life, ganun tayo. We hoard things, we hoard things, we, we buy this, we bought these things, kahit hindi natin kailangan at hindi pa panahon para sa buhay natin. Ang ending, wala nang room enough para i-bless tayo ni Lord. Kaya sabi ng Lord, I want to bless you. Saan na ilalagay, Lord? Ah, singit mo dito. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Alam niyo, kapag pumunta kayo sa kwarto ngayon ni Ate Dayan, meron ako doon tangkas-tangkas na parang lock and lock, puro notebook. Alam niyo, hindi nagalaw. Huwag niyong gagalawin yan for future use. <laughs> Alam mo yun, may mga marker ako doon na simula grade 2 pa ako. <laughs> Buhay pa rin hanggang ngayon kasi I'm a keeper. <laughs> Pero yung mga... Tinatago ko mga luma na yung marker ngayon, nag-evolve na yung marker ko, luma pa rin. <laughs> Why? Because I keep on holding on dun sa mga nakatambak na. 
nakatago na doon, hindi na makapagbigay ng bago, hindi na makabili ng bago, kasi tambak na. No more enough space, no more room para magkaroon ng bago. Kaya in our lives, in our journey, di ko alam kung ano yung mga bagay na na-hoard natin, ano yung mga bagay na nabili natin, ano yung mga bagay na inalaw natin na hindi pa dapat season, na hindi naman natin kailangan, but we have so many room for it. Pain, a person, a situation, addiction, di ko alam whatever na inaalaw natin sa buhay natin na hindi dapat nandun. The Lord is telling us this afternoon, you need to let go. Come on. We need to let go. You know why? Ask me why. I need to let go because I want to grow. I need to let go because I want to grow. Because if we do not let go of those things, hindi natin may experience ang breakthrough. Hindi natin may experience and miracle. Uh, uh, kaninang umaga, uh, I illustrated that maybe in our lives, in our journey, the Lord blessed us. And itong iPad na to, representation of the blessing of the Lord. We're so much thankful, Lord. We thank you. You bless me. Maraming salamat po, Lord, that you, you provide for my family. You have the provisions for my family. And the Lord wants us for the next level. Gusto ng Lord na ma-experience mo yung another miracle. Gusto ng Lord ma-experience natin another breakthrough. Pero hindi natin masasalo yun if our hands is full. Kapag pinilit natin yung salo yun, marami tayong mawawasak, marami tayong masisira. Kaya tell the person next to you, I need to let go. So I can grow. So this time, this was the story of Peter. And I don't know, maybe along the way, naging katulad tayo ni Pedro. I, while I was meditating these words, sabi ko, Lord, thank you sa buhay ni Peter kasi hindi ko marirealize na ganun din pala ako. Ay, last night, I was praying, Lord, grabe, ang tindi ng word mo. It's already 2 a.m., Yung, yung katabi kong ko, leader ko kasi sa bahay siya natulog. Ang sarap na ng tulog niya. <laughs> Sabi ko, Lord, maaga pa kami bukas. <laughs> Hindi ako makatulog kasi alam mo that the Lord has word in you. And I'm so much excited to share this with you kasi baka meron tayo mga binibit-bit in life na hindi natin dapat dala. Sabi ko, Lord, kung, kung paano mo pina-experience sa akin, paano mo pina-realize sa akin that I was like Peter in obeying you, I want them also to experience the breakthrough and the beauty of letting go. Kasi hindi natin makita na may beauty pa na gustong iparana sa atin si Lord kasi gandang-ganda ka na sa hawak mo, kapatid. Pero the Lord wants, the Lord wants us just to entrust that one thing. Hindi ko alam kung person, hindi ko alam kung sitwasyon, hindi ko alam kung situa uh, uh, um, family mo, hindi ko alam kung nakaraan, hindi ko alam kung issues. Ba, dami pa namang issues ng katabi mo. <laughs> Di ba? Alam niyo po, there's beauty in letting go. Kasi alam niyo, sa dami-dami ng pangahawakan natin, hindi ko mawarian. Bakit issue pa? Sa dami ng pangahawakan natin, bakit lahat ng pait, lahat ng pain, lahat ng insecurities ang sabi ng Lord, anak, let that go. We need to let go of everything so that we could experience breakthrough in our lives. I want to let go so I can grow. I will let go. I will let go so I can grow. So this time, di ko alam kung, kung may mga times na naging katulad tayo ni Peter, nagkaroon tayo ng confusion. Kasi uh, as we read this passage, ito yung time na the last supper, Jesus was arrested. And in an instant, the disciples get disconnected with Jesus physically. Are you getting it? 
nakakasunod po ba tayo? Nitong time na to, Jesus was arrested and Peter, he was confused. Ano nang gagawin ko? What's next? Lahat ng ko, leader ko, yung leader ko, out of sight. Hindi ko makita. Where is Jesus who do miracles? Kaya nitong time na to, Peter denied his relationship with Jesus. He denied na hindi. I don't know that man. Ang kasabi, siguro sa salita natin, ang kulit mo, napakamarites mo, di ko nga kilala eh. <laughs> siguro sa salitang kanto, di ba? Ganun na si Peter ka, ka eager na ma-disconnect kay Jesus. Pero this afternoon, di ko alam kung ano yung, ano yung bagay na dati na we're so much connected into the promises of the Lord and right now, something happened, everything changed. And when we get disconnected with the Lord, the way we see, the way we talk, the way we communicate, the way we engage, everything changes. Nagbabago tayo ng lengguahe, nagbabago tayo kung paano tayo communicate. Dati, you have a fire in your heart. I know my family would get to save. You have the fire in your heart. I know salvation will bring into my campus. You have the fire in your heart. My parents would re we receive healing, would receive freedom. And all of a sudden, one instant, everything changed. May sitwasyon tayong nakita na sobrang devastating, may pangyayari na nasaktan tayo, nahirapan tayo. Siguro ng mga time na tutulala pa si Pedro eh. Sabi ko, Lord, kaya pala laging kasama si Peter, James, and John kasi itong mga disciples at mga aggressive. <laughs> diba? Itong mga time na to, ito yung nang tataga ng tenga. <laughs> ito yung Lord ko sinang pumatay sa'yo. <laughs> Huwag kang dadaan sa akin, ipaglalaban kita. Yun yung mga katagan itong mga disciples sa to, Peter, James, and John. And yun yung na-realize ko na kaya pala lagi niya kasama yung mga disciples sa to, sobrang aggressive. Kaya sabi mo sa katami, lagi ka makasama ng leader mo. <laughs> Buti na lang, kaya tayo dinidikit kasi merong pinapasa sa atin <laughs> yung mga leaders natin. Na kasi they see the potential. They see the potential in us. And... That instant changed everything. Sabi ni Peter, siguro in his mind, nakita ko yung worst of worst. Namating ba sa journey ng pagsunod natin sa, sa Lord? I see the worst. And alam niyo po ba, kapag ka na-focus yung worst, kapag na-focus yung mali, we begin to see kung ano yung mali sa mga taong yun. Ang na-highlight na lang yung pangit. Ang na-highlight na lang ganito yan eh. Kapag ka nakita natin yung worst case scenario, we don't start believing on the best in them. Kasi ang feeling natin, nagkamali na sila. Ang feeling natin, ganito na. And sometimes, yung iniisip natin, ganun tayo. Would you ever, uh, meron bang situation in your life na minsan bago ka na matulog, you're meditating, or minsan hindi ka pinapatulog ng Lord, and you're telling, Lord, Dati akong ganun, ka-unfair sa'yo. Dumating ba in our journey sa pag-usunod natin sa Lord as being His disciple? Dati akong ganun. Dati akong on fire. Ganito ako ka-radical. Ganito yung passion ko para sa kapitbahay ko. Ganito yung compassion ko para yung family ko magkaroon ng salvation. In one instant, lahat na wala. And change began to occur The way we think, the way we see the world like never before. Dati you're full of hope na dati may pag-asa. <laughs> yung bang nakikita natin, may pag-asa yung marriage ko. Alam kong hindi perfect yung napangasaba ko. But may pag-asa yung relationship namin because we have Jesus in our lives. May pag-asa yung family ko because I believe in my heart. I have faith. Meron pang pag-asa sa Lord na mare-restore yung pamilya na meron ako. But in an instant, everything changed. Kasi we lose sight. The disciple, this Peter, lose sight of who Jesus is. Ang alam niya, si Jesus gumagawa ng miracle and nahiwalay. Alam niyo po ba, during this time, Jesus was shifting. Say it with me, shifting. Noong nagbago lahat, kaya nga sabi dyan, never disconnect. Kasi kapag ka na-disconnect tayo, 
the way we think, the, uh, our language change, our perspective change, can never ever disconnect whatever na situation na nakita natin, na pinagdaanan natin, let's fix our eyes on Jesus alone. And the Lord is telling us right now, itong time na to siguro yung, yung sa sobrang kalituhan ni Peter, sa sobrang confusion ni Peter, parang ang feeling niya, wala na siyang kakampi. Diba ting ba sa time na you felt na I was fighting this battle alone? Dumating sa time na no one understands me. <laughs> Dumating sa time na ang hihirap ako na lang mag-isa. Yung bang all of a sudden, you have no reach of hope. This is the situation of Peter. And that moment, he began to isolate. Alam niyo po ba ang isolation, delikado? Kasi ang, pagka nag-isolate tayo, nakakamatay ng fire. Nakakamatay ng vision, nakakamatay ng relationship, kaya never ever disconnect. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang di-disconnect. <laughs> Kaya whatever we saw, whatever we experience, never ever disconnect through the true source of hope. Through the, uh, never ever disconnect sa source ng life. Never ever disconnect sa true meaning ng life. Never ever disconnect sa purpose why we're existing. Naniniwala ko, hindi lang sa beauty of letting go, even in our brokenness, even in our imperfections, the Lord is still doing beautiful things in the midst of us. Kasi alam niyo po kung lahat maganda, nakakaumay din. <laughs> Wag mong titignan yung katabi mo. <laughs> kung lahat maganda, kaya nga, di ba? <laughs> Grabe kayo, parang sinabi niyo nga, ano? <laughs> Ano niyo yan? Minsan nakita niyo ba yung memes na yun sa Facebook? Uy, wag niyong aanuhin ng mga hindi ka, aya, hindi ka gandahan. Appreciate them. Kasi kung wala sila, hindi aangat ang ganda mo. <laughs> ba? Diba? Ganun din in life. Ganun din in life na gusto lang natin makita everything success. In life, ang gusto lang natin makita lahat smooth. Ang gusto lang natin makita in life victory. Pero there's a beauty in brokenness. There is beauty in hardship. There is beauty in testing times. Kaya the moment ngayon na ang feeling mo disaster, the moment na ang feeling natin ngayon, Lord, I'm out of reach, hindi kita makita, hindi ko maramdaman, <laughs> hindi ko maisip, hindi ko hindi ko na alam. But I know, Lord, you're still doing greater things in my behalf. Kaya nitong time na to, si Peter, he was, he was um, convinced na, sige, bibitawan ko na muna. Kaya natin nabasa sa passage na three times he betrayed Jesus kasi he was running away from his calling. Dumating was a time na tumatakbo na tayo sa calling ng Lord sa life natin. Tapos yung thinking natin, hindi, hindi eh. Nagkamali na ako. Napaso na ako. <laughs> ano yun? Kapag ka may mga panahon na trouble na, ano mo yun? Nagkakahulihan na. Ay, buti ko lang, bounce ako. Hindi ako kasali dyan, ha? Pero in reality, ikaw ang promotor. <laughs> Tama. Kapag nagkakarambol na, nagkakarayot na, ang bilis nating linisin yung sarili natin, wait, hindi ako kasali dyan. Pero ang totoo, tayo yung promotor. Tayo yung nanguna dun sa rayot. Pero the Lord is telling us in this passage, Peter was running away from his calling. And three times he denied who Jesus is. But alam niyo po ba, then mababasa natin sa passage siya, sa verse 69, and now Peter was standing outside the courtyard. Siguro nag-iisip-isip si Peter, ano nang nangyari? Ano naging problema? Anong saan saan nakikilos si Lord? He is out of reach. Alam niyo po ba the Lord sometimes uh, inaalaw ng Lord para uh, maranasan natin ang feeling natin. Lord, you're out of reach. Para ma-experience natin yung faith 
at mas stretch out tayo of our comfort zone. Na kaya pala minsan hindi natin makita, hindi natin maramdaman, ini-stretch out pala ng Lord at para makita natin ang desire pa rin ng heart natin, Lord, ikaw pa rin. Whatever testing, whatever hardship, ang laman ng puso ko, ikaw pa rin. Kaya when the times na hindi natin ma-reach ang Lord, the Lord is stretching us out of our comfort zone. Ang sabi ng Lord, anak, labas. You know, kung nandito yung parents ko, yung leaders ko, I would, be do I would not be doing this. Hindi ko na-imagine. Alam niyo ba ang alam ko lang following Jesus? Magkakabisado ko lang. Katulad nga nang sabi ko na nasa ano niya ako, na nasa Sunday school lang ako, magmi-ministry lang ako, sasayaw lang. Dati po kasi yun. Mm -mm. <laughs> dati, dati, dati na yun. That was long time ago. <laughs> Diba? Dati, to, na, okay na ako na nasa, nasa ministry ako, but then the Lord is doing shifting in our lives. He wants us to be promoted. He wants us to, to be in our next level. During this time, si Jesus is out of reach, nag-shifting din siya. And He wants to experience Peter, na, Peter, kailangan mo rin mag-next level. I am no longer with you. Hindi na ako magpe-perform ng miracle because this season, because this breakthrough, this season na kapag ka natutunan mo, let go of everything na alam mo, nakita mo tungkol sa akin, right now I could perform miracles upon miracles through you. Kasi kapag kasama natin lagi si Jesus, go Jesus, you could do it, yeah. I am your cheerleader. Go, Jesus. Pero in reality, wala tayong ginagawa. Hindi natin siya tinutulungan. But Jesus wants us to be promoted na this time, anak, hindi na ikaw ang tutulungan. Ikaw na ang tutulong. Amen. Hindi na ikaw yung binebless. This time, ikaw na yung magbebless. <laughs> hindi na ikaw yung iiyak. This time, ikaw naman yung magkocomfort. Come on, the Lord has given us power and authority. Last Sunday, we talk about the Lord ascending us. The Lord has given us power and authority to practice it. Kailangan natin i-practice it kasi alam nyo ba, sabi ko, Lord, last night, sabi ko, samang-sawa na ako na every situation na lang, yung sitwasyon yung nanguna sa buhay ko ah. Tama? Sino dito yung nakaranas na along the journey naging ma-emotion ka? Ang sakit. Na-reject ako. <laughs> It really hurts, you know? <laughs> Alam mo yan, along the journey, talagang, ate, let's go. Meron akong word from the Lord. Let's win, people. Let's do this. Pagkatapos nagkaroon ng rejection, parang, ang sakit. Ang sakit, sakit. Ganun na yung dialogue natin. Hindi na tayo makamove. And when we focus on the pain, when we focus on the negative, we begin to stop. Yung bang parang feeling mo, ang dami kong gagawin, pero at the end of the day, wala tayong nagawa. <laughs> Tama ba? Parang ang dami kong gagawin. Pero in reality, walang nangyari. Hindi tayo naging productive. And during that time, sabi ko, Lord, I'm sorry. Kasi yung denial pala, hindi lang sa salita, pati rin sa gawa. And maybe ang thinking natin, ito naman si Pedro, dininay si Jesus para namang hindi niya ilang taong kasama. But during our journey, come on, during our journey, tayo mismo we denied who Jesus is in our lives. And I mean, sabi ko, Lord, you're blessing me with so much. Kapag ka nga nagkwentuhan, sabi ko, Lord, napaka pinagpala ako talaga, napaka-spoiled ko sa presence mo. Sa lahat ng nag-board exam, ako yung maganda. <laughs> sa lahat na ng board exam, pag tinanong ako, syempre ako may hawak ng mic eh. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Sa lahat ng nag-board exam, kapag ka binigay ng Lord ng favor sa sa'yo, He will do it swiftly. Kapag kakasama natin ng favor ng Lord yung pang sampung taon, pang limang taon, kaya niyang papangyarihin within six months. Hala yeah. niyo, during that time, sabi ko, Lord, para, para bang tila, ano niyo, napasubo ka na lang. Uy, pa, para lang kami nagkayayaan, tara. 
ano tayo, makdo? Kala mo, ganun yung yayaan namin eh. Sabi niya, te, tara, board exam tayo. Tara. <laughs> Alam niyo po ba, sa lahat na ng board exam, ako yung hindi nagproseso ng lahat ng kailangan kong gawin. Kasi sabi ko, sige, <laughs> sige, ano, sige, makano ba bayaran ganito? Ito po yung nakamatindi, lumabas na lang at lahat ng resulta ng board exam, hindi ko pa rin alam. Sabi ko, ay, pumasa pala ako. <laughs> Kasi alam niyo, biyaya. Favor from the Lord. You have done so many things in my life. Meron akong trabaho ngayon na ah, hindi ako ang nag-apply. Sabi niya, sabi ulit, sabi ko, grabe, hindi magkayayaan, ano? <laughs> sabi niya, Mag, ate, magpasa tayo dito, mag-apply tayo dito. O sige, alam niyo po ba, na-interview ako. Habang ini-interview ko, sabi ng interviewer sa akin, you have a creative resume. Wow. Isip-isip ko, ano po bang naman nung resume ko? <laughs> Kasi alam niyo yun, everything was favor. And the Lord is blessing me so much and yet ang tinitignan ko, lahat ng nakakapanakit sa akin. I was focusing on the issue. I was focusing of the things of this world. I was focusing sa lahat ng pain, sa lahat ng hindi makakatulong sa akin. I was focusing, ito yung kailangan ko, ito yung dadamputin ko. And the situation and my emotion takes control of my life. Kaya darating ka sa church. Oh, kamusta si Lord? Kamusta? Kamusta ang journey mo? Kamusta ka? Ito, okay lang. Excited ka na mag-worship kay Lord? Oo. Oh, oh. Ang saya. Ang saya-saya. <laughs> Brad, di halata eh. <laughs> Walang manifestation. The word of the Lord says, I have given you power and authority. Pwede mong pangibabawan ng emosyon. Pwede mong pangibabawan ng sitwasyon. Sabi ng Lord, you could still rejoice in the midst of tribulation. You could celebrate in the midst of mourning. ba? Diba? Kaya nga sabi ng ibang tao sa atin, nababaliw ka na ba? Ganito na yung sitwasyon mo, you could still smile, you could still say, yes, I am blessed beyond all those situations. And in one instant, lahat nagbago. Yan ang sabi ng Lord, kaya ko to pinapa-experience so that in those moments na nasa baba tayo, sa moments ng brokenness, sa moments ng hardship, sa moments na the Lord is giving us a heart, anak, kailangan you humble down yourself before me. Doon pala siya gagawa ng matinding miracle like never before. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, I'm so much excited kasi hindi ka pa pala tapos. Kung ano pala yung mga bagay na proseso ang pinagdaanan mo sa buhay ko noon, iba pala yung pagdadaanan ko ngayon. Kasi dati na-overcome ko na yung pagiging LPT, na-overcome ko na na magkaroon ng trabaho. Ngayon ang next level mo, ikaw na magiging CEO. Ngayon ang next level mo, ikaw naman ang homeowner. Ang next level mo, makakapag-asawa ka naman ng bigay ko sa iyo. Kaya hindi pwedeng sa isang sitwasyon, niiyak ka na lang, Lord, ayoko na. Kaya hindi pwedeng sa isang sitwasyon, Lord, ayoko na. Kasi the Lord, is stretching us out of our comfort zone because this time, the Lord wants to perform miracles upon miracles through your life. Through your life. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, let go and let God. So this time, tatlong beses, Tatlong beses, kulit na kulit siguro si Peter. Itong time na to, he was confused. Di niya nalang gagawin niya. Siguro, ano na lang, patingin-tingin na lang, ano nangyayari. Ano na kayang ginagawa nila kay Jesus. Man, this time, may itong matindi, may nakakilala. Sabi mo, sa katabi mo, may makakakilala talaga sa iyo. <laughs> Meron talagang nakakakilala sa atin eh. Kaya sabi ng word ng Lord, Now Peter was sitting outside the courtyard and the servant girl came to him and said, You two were with Jesus the Galilean. Sabi siguro ni Pedro itong maritest na ito, papahamak pa ako eh. 
nananahimik ako dito, hindi ko na nga alam gagawin ko, tapos sasabihin mo. Ay, sometimes we disconnect ourselves in our identity. We disconnect ourselves to, to the true, to the source, through the meaning of our life. Sabi niya, hindi ko kilala yan. Alam niyo, hindi tumigil si Peter. Ang lupit. <laughs> Pabasa natin sa next verse. Sa verse 70. In verse 70, But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. And verse 71, And when he had gone out to the gateway, Itong umalis na eh. Ayan, hindi ko kilala, okay? Hindi ako yung disciple. Hindi ako yung dati mong kilala. Hindi ako connected dyan. Alis na ako. Paglipat dito, Brad, may isa na namang marites. Sabi dito, little girl. Kaya mga babae talaga matindi. <laughs> yeah, sabi mo sa katabi mo, let go! <laughs> oh. But during this time, for the second time around, di ba you were with Jesus? Sabi siguro ito, bangko kulit mo ha? Sino bang mga leader ng mga... Um, sometimes we want to get away to the calling of the Lord at kalimutan na natin ano yung mga bagay na nagawa niya. Lahat ng miracle, lahat ng breakthrough, we want to be disconnected to Him. And you know, the moment that we disconnect to God, that is the moment we want to be disconnected on our next breakthrough. Kaya never ever disconnect. Yan, ito, ito yung time na, well, I was reading this, sabi ang kulit ni Pedro, takbo ng takbo. Alis ng alis, may paulit-ulit ka. But you know what? Hindi lang ito si Peter eh. This was the passage that the, the Lord reminding me, hindi lang ito yung moment na si Peter tumatakbo sa calling niya, but also the Lord is chasing him down because the Lord knows I have a prophetic word in you. The Lord knows I have a plan in your life. The Lord knows that on this Peter, on this rock, I will build my church. Kaya sabi mo sa kati mo, baby, wala kang tatakbuan. <laughs> Kaya sabihin mo, umuwi ka na, baby. <laughs> umuwi ka na. <laughs> Hindi na ako mahirap O di ba sabi ko sa iyo, sabi mo sa katabi mo, never disconnect. <laughs> Kaya this time sabi ko, Lord, grabe ang tindi mo magmahal. Hindi mo ahaya ang mawala ako sa main line ng buhay ko. Even in the midst of brokenness, even the midst of ayoko na, uwi na, hindi ko kilala yan. But still the Lord is chasing after you. The moment that you're here in, in this room right now, the Lord has sending us a message right now na, Hey anak, hindi mo man ako kilala personally, even you're a first timer in this room, alam mo na kung sino si Lord, eh, maybe we're a regular comer here, the Lord is doing something greater na hindi natin na-imagine than before. Yeah, the Lord is telling us right now, never disconnect. May gagawin pa ako. May gagawin pa ako. Yeah, as we come into the presence of God, I was everyone uh, to be reminded na kailangan, we need to let go of our excess baggage. We need to let go of our excess baggage. I need to let go so I can grow. I need to let go of everything so that everything can grow. Do you hear me? I need to let go of everything so that everything can grow. You know, in life, if we keep on getting those baggage, kuha tayo ng kuha, bit-bit tayo ng bit-bit, alam niyo, in our journey, tayo yung may hirapan. Tayo yung mabibigatan. Sabi ko nga, Lord, papunta pa lang sa'yo. Nahihirapan na ako. Magbibit-bit pa ako ng sitwasyon. Magbibit-bit pa ako ng issues. Magbibit-bit pa ako ng maling tao. Magbibit-bit pa ako ng maling panahon. But this moment, the Lord is telling anak, just let it go. Let go and let God intervene in our lives. You know, I have this story. Medyo nasanay na po kasi akong nagbebyahe ngayon. So every time na umaalis kami, um, 
mayroon akong gift na mag-empake. So nakikita naman natin lahat at alam kong hindi ko maitatago na malaki ako. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, na kapag malaki ka, malaki rin ang mga clothes mo, tama? But you know what? Last time, nagpunta kami ng Davao, lahat ng hand carry namin, mga maleta, pagtingin ko sa bag namin, alam ko na rin na tinanggap ko kasi alam nyo rin na ako pinakamalaki sa aming pamilya, eh, no? So during that time, sabi ko, ako yung pinakamalaki sa amin. Pagtingin ko sa mga maleta namin, akin yung pinakamaliit. Sabi ko, wow, ang galing naman mag-empake. So meron akong isang uh, ate na na-amaze siya. Nagpunta kami ng Boracay, sabi niyo, wow, lahat yun ay empake mo dyan. So amaze-amaze siya kasi ang laki ko, tapos napagkasya ko lahat ng kailangan kong damit, no? So to make the long story short, nang hiram siya sa akin ng maleta. Sabi niya, pero ako ng maleta kasi um, pupunta kami ng training, two weeks kaming mawawala. So pinahiram ko siya. Sabi, eh, hindi. Sabi ko sa kanya, hindi ate, alam mo bang mas malaki pa yung dala mo sa Boracay kaysa sa dala ko? Ayusin mo lang yung pag-iempake mo. Dalin mo lang kung ano yung kailangan mo. So to make the long story short, kasi yung thinking nga, two weeks, kailangan may OOTD ako, tama? <laughs> Kapag mag-journey tayo in life, ang dami nating bit-bit na hindi kailangan. Mga sombrelo mo, sampo, mga shades mo, lima, di ba? Pagdating doon, di mo naman lahat na gamit ng pang-OOTD. <laughs> lahat lang excess baggage. So sabi nga, sabi ko, okay na yung maleta mo. Hindi siya na contento. Ano yung ginawa niya? Humiram siya ng maleta kay pastora. May pustura, pwede naman makahiram ng maleta. So, ngayon, pagdating nila ng airport, nagulat ako, nakauwi na yung naghatid sa kanila. Yung maleta, nakauwi mag-isa. Sabi ko, what happened? <laughs> Bakit nandito tong maleta na to? Alam nyo, in life, ang dami nating binibit-bit na hindi tama. Yung maletang yun, hindi siya kasya pang hand carry. Alam nyo, si Lord may standard. Sabi ng Lord, anak, hand carry lang kasi I will do the rest. Let go of those excess in your life kasi ako ang mag-fill in lahat ng kulang mo. Alam nyo, ang pinakamahirap sa lahat kapag nasa airport ka, kapatid, ang dami mong dala, tas magbubulatlat ka, hindi daw to pwede. Hindi daw to pwede. Ano na yung pinakamahirap? Nasa aeroplano ka, ang mga dala mo, plastic. <laughs> kasi bakit? Hindi pasok sa standard yung maleta. Ang dami mo kasing bit-bit. Yan lang po kasi yung standard na pwedeng sa overhead na hand carry na maleta. So to make the long story short, this ate, she open up the bag, the maleta, the luggage. Inatanggal niya ano ba yung kailangan lang. Ang pinakamahirap nung nag-open ka ng maleta sa anaiya tapos sumambulat lahat ng gawin. Ay, hindi. Hindi <laughs> pala dapat nila makita to, no? Alam mo ang hirap. Kasi ang dami natin gusto bit-bitin in life. Pero ang sabi lang ng Lord, Nak, let go of everything. Let go of everything kasi ako ang bahala sa'yo. Ang bahala sa'yo. Ang hirap na, no? Papasok ko sa aeroplano. Alam niyo po ba sa aeroplano? Ang hirap kapag may nakasalubong ka. Kasi parang one way lang. <laughs> sa pagtamalikot ka, talagang body to body na kayo. Isipin mo, may bit-bit-bit kit kang mga plastic, may bit-bit kang kung ano-ano nagkakalaglag. Kasi ang dami mong dala. Ang hirap mag-travel. Ang hirap mag-journey kapag ang dami mong dala. Ang sabi lang ng Lord, anak, just let it go. Just let it go. And this moment, I'm praying that the Lord will encounter us in this room right now because I believe one encounter with God is enough. It's enough to let go of everything that we have in life. Our pride, our past, our pain, just one encounter with God. Just, yung bang isang one time, big time, Lord, eto na. Take over. Alam mo yun, <laughs> hindi iniwan ni Lord si Peter sa, pat, sa pangatlong pagkakataon. Sa pangatlong pagkakataon. In verse 73, After a while, the bystanders came and said to Peter, Surely you are one of them too, for even your Galilean accent gives you away. And then he began to curse and swear, an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment, 
the rooster crowed. Nangyari kung ano yung sinabi ni Jesus. Ito ang pinaka nagustuhan ko sa karakter ni Peter. He remembered. Tell the person next to you, remember. Naalala ni Peter, hindi yung denial. Naalala ni Peter, hindi yung times na sumusunod siya sa Lord. Ang naalala ni Peter, the prophetic word of the Lord in his life. Na still may calling si Lord sa buhay ko. Still he declared, he declared in Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 to 19 and I say to you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church to make it personal the Lord is telling to us right now I say to you that you are Leonard that you are David <laughs> that you are April and on this rock I will build my church. I will build my church. Hindi church ni Diane, hindi church ni Lito, hindi church ni Reigning Life, but the church of the living God. Come on! <laughs> Send in his next verse. Uh, in, the, in the following, the uh, and the gates of Hades, death will not overpower it by preventing the resurrection of the Christ. Even death kapatid, hindi ka kayang patigilin. Sabi sa verse, verse in verse 19, ang sarap, ang sarap pagkatiwalaan. Ang sabi ni Lord, and I will give you the keys. Say it with me, the keys. In other words, the Lord is giving us the authority. Alam niyo ang sarap kapag ka pinagkatiwalaan. Tama? Alam mo, ang sarap kumilo sa isang lugar na alam mong pinagkakatiwalaan ka. Alam nyo, during the time na umaalis sila, Pastor, sanay kami na hinahatid kami ni Kuya Pitro. Na, uh, pwede bang palakpakan natin si Lord sa buhay ni Kuya Pitro? And every time He is serving us, every time He is serving our pastors, He is serving our leaders, talagang He, he would gladly do it. Talagang never na na-late yun every time na hinahatid niya kami. And sanay ako na every time na wala sila, Pastor, the keys, yung susi ni Trooper, nasa kanya. Kasi siya yung namamahala, siya yung susundo. So kahit nandito ako, nasa kanya. And you know what, last Sunday, nagbibiruan kami. Sabi namin, sabi namin ng mga ate-ate ko, sabi niya, um, ano, tara na, saan tayo, mawa tayo, punta tayo sa ganto, punta tayo sa ganyan. Alam niya, sabi ko lang nun, wala sa akin yung susi. Kapag wala sa'yo yung susi, you do not have the access. Come on. But the Lord is telling us right now that I will give you the keys. I will give you the access. I will give you the authority. And during that time, nagkakabiruan lang kami. Ah, sige. Baka kasi, sa, alam mo yung sabi pa nila, baka kasi, ano yung sabi nila, Pastor, saan ka pumunta? Alam niyo, sa, nung last Sunday, hindi ko sa mabarihan kung anong kadahilanan. Hinanap ako ni Kuya Petro after ng 10 a.m. worship. Tapos ang uh, uh, nakakatawa pa yung pagkakalapag niya ng, ano, eh, <laughs> ng susi. Yung para bang nangaakit, yung gumaganong-ganong pa yung susi sa baba, paglapag niyang ganun. Yung sabi niya, Ati Dayan, oh. Sabi ko, oh, nagulat talaga ako kasi hindi ako sanay. I'm not used to it na nasa akin yung susi. Yung sabi niya, baka kasi gagamitin mo. Parang kulang na lang tumalon na ko eh. <laughs> Alam mo yung mapayakap ako yung Kuya Pitro. Na parang naisip mo ba yung mga pin... Kumbaga, naisip namin na narinig mo ba yung pinag-usapan namin? Pero alam nyo, in my heart, sabi ko, Lord, thank you kasi this time nakita mo that I am trustworthy enough. Kasi pwede ko naman sabihin na ilang beses na nainatid kami, ilang beses na wala yung magulang ko, bakit hindi binibigay sa akin yung susi? Pwede ko isipin na ganun eh. Pero... That moment, I knew, sabi ko, Lord, baka kasi nung mga panahon na yun, kung saan ko dalhin yung sasakyan. Baka kung saan ako magliwaliw, kung saan ako maglibang, kung saan ako mapunta. Baka kung sino yung samahan ko. Pero that moment, ang sarap na i-entrust sa'yo kasi alam mo katiwa-tiwala ka. Come on, kapatid, all access. 
Alam niyo yun, after that, <laughs> sige, tuloy tayo. Alam niyo, word lang sa akin ng mga ate ko, magpaalam ka. Sometimes kasi as child, as a children of God, we, we do things on our own. Ipagpapaalam na lang natin. Pag pinagpaalam natin, Lord, okay, your time to move. <laughs> Di ba? Sometimes ganun yung ginagawa natin. And, ano yung sabi niya, magpaalam ka na, eh minsan lumalabas yung inner, inner being natin. Sabi ko, hindi, alam naman yan. <laughs> Itakas na lang natin. Pero ang sarap kapag ka you're surrounded with the right person. Tama ba? Nung moment na yun, ang sarap sa pakiramdam. Kasi the moment na nagpaalam ako, and I have the access, I have the keys, my father's, uh, uh, my biological father has given me authority over that car. Ang sarap sa feeling kapag covered ka. Kahit saan ka pumunta, hindi ka matatakot kasi alam mong pinagkatiwalaan ka. Anyway, after that, after that, kung saan kami nakapunta, nag-skyway kami. Sabi namin, Lord, grabe. Alam mo, nag- tatlo lang kami yung pagkaka-skyway namin. Kala mo, ano eh, space shuttle. <laughs> kung alam niyo po yung bagong skyway dun sa may harbor sa Manila, pagbaba namin, tondo na. Tatlo lang kami, para kami nga arangkada. <laughs> ano to? Pa-take off na ba tayong aeroplano? <laughs> Kasi talagang sobrang taas nung, nung skyway. Pero ang sarap kapag ka pala, itinake over ng Lord lahat sa atin, yung mga matagal, padadaliin niya. Yung mahirap, pabibilis, uh, yung mga mahirap, padadalain niya. Yung matagal, pabibilisin niya. And right after that, kina, um, after a few days, nagpaalam ulit ako kay Daddy. Sabi ko, di, um, pwede po bang umal- lumabas ulit kami? Kasi yung pamangkay ni ate ganito, nandyan, gusto nilang magpizza sa angono. Sabi ko, magpipizza na lang angono. Paano kaya, taytay? <laughs> Sabi ko, gusto magpizza ng mga bata. Pero ang tatao, may kaduktong yun in my mind, pati ng matanda. <laughs> gusto rin palang magpizza eh. No? Tapos alam niyo, pinakamasarap na respond ng father. Kasi alam niya that you, make, you are doing the ministry. Ang sabi lang niya, go anak, serve them well. Serve them well. Ang sarap sa feeling kasi you have all the access. Ang sabi ng Lord that I will give you the keys, the authority of the kingdom of heaven. Kapatid, yung naranasan ko, yung na-experience ko, yung pinagkatiwala sa akin, that's just my physical father. Ano pa kaya yung pwedeng ipagkatiwala sa iyo at sa akin ng heavenly father na meron tayo? Kaya this moment, I want to challenge every one of us na let's just let it go. Let it go. I-let go na natin yung pagsunod natin noon. I-let go na natin kung sino tayo noon. Nung naintindihan ko nung mga panahon na to, na kaya pala kailangan danasin ni Peter ang brokenness. Kasi we have the tendency na ang kinin kung ano yung miracle na ginagawa ng Lord. That that moment, kailangan palang danasin ni, ni Peter yung process na yon, yung brokenness na yon, yung humbling moment na yon, so that when the Lord will build His church on Peter, only the name of the Lord will be lifted I. No face, no name, only Jesus. Kaya this evening, let's just surrender everything to God. Lord, this brokenness ang feeling natin, Lord, kapag ka pala disciple, na sometimes ang thinking natin, kapag disciple mo, Lord, dapat hindi nagkakamali, dapat hindi nadadapa, kapag ka disciple mo, always perfect. But you know what? When the Lord has given us power and authority, ang sabi niya, I have given you the access to practice it. Ibig sabihin, hindi overnight, magaling ka kaagad magmahal. Hindi overnight, mabilis kang magpatawad. Kaya ang sabi ng Lord, practice it. Kaya doon ka na na being a disciples of God, hindi pala tayo overnight process. It's a journey. It's a journey. Kaya I need to let go of everything so that everything could grow. Everything could grow. Can we stand in our feet right now? I want us to be reminded. The Lord is telling you that I say to you, Peter, that on this rock, I will build my church. I will build my church. I am praying this evening na kung ano man yung mga bagay na 
excess baggage natin, dating pagsunod natin sa Lord, dating identity natin, you know, ang sabi ng word ng Lord sa Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, all the wealth, all the fame, all the success, but forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Alam niyo, pwede nating ma-achieve lahat ng success in life. All the fame, lahat na nang pwedeng iduktong sa pangalan natin. We are the degree holder, we are accountant, you are a lawyer, everything. Pwede nating maranasan sa mundo. But when we lose the one thing in our lives, that most important thing is our relationship with Jesus. Alam niyo, as we leave everything behind this evening, ang prayer ko lang ang matagpuan natin si Jesus sa buhay natin. That Lord, I, I may found you once again. Yung bang Lord, maalala ko. Like Peter, tinawag mo nga pala ako. Maalala ko lang, Lord, na you said prophetically in my life that upon you, Peter, On this rock, I will build my church. So this evening, as we worship God, as we're letting all, all, all those pains, all those situations, all those issues, kailangan palang mag-arise yun sa buhay natin so we could experience the freedom that comes from the Lord. We could experience the breakthrough that comes from the Lord. And let's practice it right now. The Lord is given us power and authority over our emotions, over everything. Ang sabi lang ng Lord, anak, tindigan mo. Anak, tindigan mo. Kaya as we surrender everything to God right now, Lord, may you be my one thing. May you be my confident. May you be my identification. May you be my my hope. May you be my future. As we worship God, as we worship God this evening, because you're all I want, you're all I want, Lord. You're all that I need. Everything I have means nothing. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything I need right now. Cause all I want is everything you are and nothing. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything to me right Cause now. Cause all I know, cause all I know is everything, everything Lord. I have. Means no Jesus. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything I need right now. Cause all I want is everything you are in nothing. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything to me right now. Cause all I know is. Everything I have means nothing. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything I need right now. And I sing, oh, and oh, I want nothing, I want nothing but to know you. To be with you, to be with you, my God. And I sing, oh. If you're not my one Everything, everything, everything I need, I right, need now. right now 
Cause all I want is everything you are in nothing. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, if you're not my one thing, everything to me right now. Heavenly Father, as you move in the midst of us, anything, Lord, that keeping us Lord, away from your presence, anything, Lord, na laman ng puso namin that is against you right now, Lord, we surrender it, everything. We surrender every pain. We surrender every, every unsure in our lives. We surrender our anxiety. We surrender everything, my situation, my family, my sickness. Lord, I'm offering everything to you. Ang mapanghawakan ko lang yung pangako mo. Ang mapanghawakan ko lang yung pagmamahal mo. Ang mapanghawakan ko lang at maalala ko sa mga oras na to. Tinawag mo ko. Tinawag mo ako. Yeah, Lord, right now we're practicing in authority in your name, Lord. We will rise up above this situation. Lord, we could celebrate, we could smile, we could have joy in the midst of testing. We could have joy, we could celebrate in the midst of death, Lord God. Everything, Lord, kaya namin mapagtagumpayan because of you, because we have you in our lives, Lord. So that when we let go of everything, Lord, everything surrounding in us, Lord God, could grow for the glory of your name. We're so much excited to receive the breakthrough that comes from you, Lord, and never ever get disconnected with you. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.